Hi guys, what's up? I'm feeling a little bit better. Turns out talking about it always helps, hey? Anywho, anyhow, so I want to show you the next purchase that I made. It's a no-name purchase. Two, the next two purchases. A no-name purchase. So this is something that I started to experiment on commencing last month. Um, and so far, <laughs> oh goodness, I saw the results. Literally, I am not even out here in these streets trying to pull your leg. Why would I do that? I'm not even a, a skincare YouTuber or a hair care YouTuber. I'm just a Christian trying to show you what God has done for me. Okay. And, and it just so happens to be currently today within the niches of skin and hair care. So I'm not out here trying to pull your leg. I am coming in the spirit of truth. I'm not trying to make money out of skin or hair care. I just want to enable people that are struggling or to give people perspective about really what's going on out here in these streets concerning consumerism and how frugality is a virtue from God and you should try and cultivate it, especially as a woman, because the day is going to arrive when life hits. And when life hits, you want to still stay beautiful. So if you and your husband lose your jobs, because look at what's happening to all of our economies, you can still still maintain your collagen <laughs> no, i'm just saying i am the textbook case of god maintained me through thick and thin a hair did not perish on my head the lord kept me basically considering fields and buying them he made me viable gorgeous beautiful despite things that are supposed to crack me up and lay me prostate prostate on the floor wasted eating dust in days of famine i'm enjoying plenty because the lord has made out of me a frugal human being so i'm trying to make women recognize the value of frugality as a virtue so as to also divorce themselves from the love of money that buys really expensive things and it is the root of all kinds of evil and many who wander after it pierce themselves with many pains among the pains of which is basically marrying a guy because he's got a whole bunch of money uh, and so therefore finding yourself in a marriage that's going to make out of you a mad woman i've been talking about mad women and how it is that they have destroyed south africa it has become a menacing matriarchy with men just not quite you know, doing their part because they are busy being run by Jezebels and Lord Jezebel, they love money and the reason why people love money is because of what money can buy. So if you teach yourself a frugality, it is a virtue. It'll enable you to not equate um, quality, girth, worthiness of a man with money. Then in that way, you will finally allow yourselves to be pursued by men who don't have that much of it but have really great virtue and the two of y'all can go into the sunset and build an empire. I'm not saying don't go make money. I'm just saying don't gun for it because when you gun for it you end up married really horribly go and ask all these ladies married to gucci buying men and ask them if they're happy okay i'm not saying settle for less than what it is that you ask for or want i'm just saying know when to not pass up a good thing <laughs> because it doesn't have money i am a victim of being passed up because I, I lost my career i lost my ability to be able to get everything i need easily and however expensively it is that i wanted to get it for and because of that, I don't know how many men look at me on some, she pretty, but I don't care. She pretty, but I don't care. She ain't got nothing. I'm, I don't carry clout. I don't have weight in that regard. And so a whole virtuous, godly, absolutely amazing woman. I'm sorry if that sounds like me tooting their horn. Has been passed out because she had no money. So our men are also not chasing after women who have money. Meaning that it is no longer men that are, expecting to, that are expected to have it. And that is a, a society that has been discombobulated and turned on its head. Uh, because men now are also using women to supplement their wealth and it's like what are you doing you're losing your manhood but the reason why people end up in that little bunch piercing themselves with many pains is because of a love of money and like I said the love of money is exacerbated by things that money can buy so if you learn frugality I keep repeating myself if if you learn frugality you will learn not to be swayed in decision making by quantity of cash or central banking digital currencies whatever might be the ten amount of thing that buys all right Stuff like this leads to the mark of the beast, you guys. I've even been writing articles for days about it. But nonetheless, whatever. So all these beautiful serums, all these beautiful discoveries by the um, pharmaceuticals industry to help us look younger for longer, have our skin pop and whatnot. My oh my, there are cheap ways to make them. So vitamin C is 
an antioxidant, a, a, a gargantuan one. It is also a tyrosinase inhibitor in that it um, reduces the appearance of dark spots and what have you. I spoke about that in my previous part. Uh, tyrosinase is an enzyme. No, I'm not going to go into explaining what tyrosinase is. You don't need to know. Or if you want to find out, go and get somebody else a lot more educated than me in that regard. But yeah, vitamin C is one of those things that people use in order to get rid of dark spots. It is also one of those things that people use to uh, combat aging because of its antioxidant concentration. It is, however, very unstable on its own. So it needs to be bottled in a dark bottle. And it also likely works best when it's mixed with vitamin E. Uh, and I believe A, in order to, you know, maintain its stability and what have you. So how you know you're buying a good vitamin C serum or cream or whatever is if it comes jam-packed with vitamin A next to it alongside vitamin uh, E. Uh, and also packaging goes a long way, like, you, you know, otherwise if there's, if somebody sells you a vitamin C cream or a serum and it comes in a package, like, okay, I don't have anything right now that I'm looking at that I can use, some clear gloss, then you know that it's rubbish, right? You, that's why education goes a long way. Now, what does vitamin C do? Back in the day when I was busy studying uh, ways to deal with situation with my skin, it also helps with acne and whatnot, right? When I was trying to figure out what to do with my face uh there was this whole vitamin c thing re being recommended to me i didn't have money for it it is ridiculously expensive i could not afford to buy the powder or the actual cream blah all these things mm. so i was like what to do what to do until i happened upon some poor youtubers because you know we don't all come rich uh and they were like girls i know how to i can set you uh but you gonna have to like you know make this cream every two or three days and with me because my life sucks so hard uh and i'm always in so much pain i can't ma maintain with any level of consistency See anything that needs me to just keep on going back to the drawing board and making over and over and over and over again but i tried it anyway thinking that i could have maintained it i wasn't able to maintain it a, a vitamin c serum that this chick made from home right she basically grated like uh, an orange peel leaf no sorry skin uh like lemon zest or i think it was a full lemon peel or whatever she put it in some boiling water and then just kind of put it into a container put it in the refrigerator and she was like you have to use it within two days otherwise there's nothing that's going to be left there the vitamin c is very unstable so it breaks down and it starts to like oxy oxidate and all that jazz and it's just gonna be nasty and i tried it guys i did exactly what she did using the oranges in the house and i was as you know after i did the serum put it in the refrigerator put it on my face within that day that very same day literally immediately after using it my skin already looked like it's like my pores like whatever pores i had on my face they just were like they went from and they were like my pores closed up my skin looked all porcelainy porcelainy like a doll and i was like what the heck like from an orange peel i tried to maintain it but like i said sorrow sorrow has a thing about me um i was in too much pain i couldn't keep making this like lemon zest thing plus on top of that uh sometimes lemons would take three days to arrive in the house to be purchased again it was lemons oranges whatever might be a peel right and i was like oh i just got bored i got tired and i stopped um i can't really say that my skin went back to looking like that of a of a, of a 90 year old woman but it was just whatever my, whatever my skin was all i knew was that i just wanted something that would be maintained in that state that i can use every day and replenish once a month because i don't know i bought it at the store then i went to like this of course uh clicks you know these stores where you can purchase uh, cosmetics and i looked at how much first of all the the vitamin c serums that were they came highly recommended uh were were from the ordinary and the ordinary they don't have it in south africa and even if they do you kind of have to like know i'm a honji and i didn't have time or the resources to be looking for things in Honjis and the ones I did not know where to find the ordinary like things that were as with rave reviews at the level of the ordinary in South Africa and because I didn't have money I didn't even bother to research YouTubers in South Africa that have an alternative from the ordinary so I just was like whatever I was like we'll see you tomorrow maybe day after tomorrow maybe next year okay I'm not doing this uh, so I just gave up on the whole vitamin C thing. I did remember, however, that, well, I tried the lemon, the orange peel thingy, DIY home solution, and it made my skin pop looking like a baby's bottom with sucked in pores like what's going on uh so as when i started to like you know get enabled in that regard okay i wanted to buy sorry the vitamin c serum and then of course i went and i perused the aisles of Diskim, um to see if i can't find vitamin c okay to see if i can't find it see if i can't find it see if i can't find it and indeed i did just that and i did i found it and mm, yeah mm, thank you son no thank you i don't have money uh little tiny pipette to using serum and gaga some of it were creams and whatnot 300 400 350 
there, I was like, whoa, really? I mean, this is drugstore or your pharmaceutical chemist type prices. And yet it's like this. What in the world was likely, how much would the ordinary be? Then in South Africa, I did find it. And in the US, apparently, according, uh, allegedly, uh, the ordinary is cheap. It's one of the cheaper brands, but it's got really great uh, products. You know, like people speak of it as actually being uh, along the, uh, um, along more of the more affordable ones. But in South Africa, they will probably just capitalize on the fact that you third world gangsters, y'all don't get to buy nothing cheap anyway, whatever. So I was like, mm, okay, I don't know what it is that, why they price it so heavily. Some of us want to be pretty despite being pro. What's wrong with you? So I, I just let it go. Like I saw that vitamin C was too expensive. And as my studies were continuing, I then also was, you know, happened upon hyaluronic as it was heavily spoken about. So too was retinol and the powers of retinol, like how it just makes you look like this like Korean glass skin, 22 year old chick after five months of use. I was like, it would be great. I would love to, you know, maintain myself. I want that long idea, but I ain't got no money. And indeed, every time I would go to the disc game, happen upon retinol, happen upon um, hyaluronic acid, anything at all. I mean, there was this one moisturizer that I bought that had um, three essential serum mines in it, CeraVe, I believe, with hyaluronic acid, and it worked so it, like I used it on my face and I liked the effect. Hey, but the actives were, were kind of harsh, right? Uh, I used to use custard oil on my eyelashes to try and grow them. Mixing that custard oil with the, that serum just made my eyes burn, so I stopped with the custard oil application, but I also stopped buying that cream because it was 250 bucks <laughs> for that, right? And um, even though I wanted it to last me for like ever in a day and I was only using it for my face, not my body, I was like, I can't be buying things that cost me that much per single purchase. I don't have money. I, I don't have the luxury. If I buy it this one time, I might be dry for six months and then I'm out and next thing I don't, from being out, that would mean that my skin, you know, basically retracts, bounces back to the former state. It's like stopping to use, what, what is it, MSM, you know, MSM, that powder that people use in order to grow their hair. Apparently when you stop using it, your hair thins out again. So that's why I never tried MSM for my hair growth because for me it was too expensive to take a risk with using it and then my hair was going to box them and then I was going to stop using it because I ain't got no money and it's going to go down. So I've always just sought out ingredients, things that I can always buy, that if at all, defedile, there's an alternative in the fridge i spoke about that in terms of purchasing my seeds and whatnot the things that i drink in my shake and whatnot they're always cheap like i make sure that they're under 50 bucks 60 if we're pushing it too far if anything costs more than 50 or 60 bucks i'm not even taking it so my linseed my chia seeds my i always make sure they come under 60 bucks and i take a little bit to go me to take me very far so i abandoned the msm at the store when i saw it i was like we're not doing this even though you're gonna grow my hair like wildfire when you run out my hair gonna fall out and we're not gonna do that we're not doing it right so i I did not when I had enough money like there was one time when I got like quite a handsome amount given me right I, I, I do not go on right ahead and just experiment with expensive products because I've seen them on TV I don't eat YouTube because next time when they fall out of my hands I'm gonna not have them I'm not gonna have them and upon not having them then my skin is gonna make, make like an MSM side effect of stopping hair is gonna thin so if hair thins with MSM stopping what happens when you stop using retinol what happens when you stop using vitamin C what happens when you stop using collagen what happens when you say, you know what I mean? So I was like, mm -mm, I'm not trying to have like some effect on my face that's going to make me feel like I don't matter in life. That I ain't nobody. That proper, like people can walk past me like I'm cellophane. It don't matter. Like, no, I did not want to look in the mirror and cry because I stopped using something and now the the effects of it, the effects of stopping are all up in my grill. So I've always stayed very safe when it comes to purchases until I went to this Chinatown gangster place and I was like, oh my goodness, I found vitamin C at a ridiculous ridiculous price i found retinol at a, dis at a ridiculous price and i found hyaluronic acid at a ridiculous price and it's something that i can trust that i will be able to stretch out over a very long amount of time and when it finishes i very highly likely will be restocked again because god is in the business of restocking me and i'm going to be able to keep on purchasing i'm going to be able to keep continue purchasing it so i won't ever have to stop and when i found it i was like this is it this is it so when i was looking for that kojic acid um cream that i wasn't able to find not cream but face wash that i wasn't able to find in this beauty supply store when i was there okay well it's not beauty supply store i watched too much american youtube what do they call it health and beauty warehouse when i was looking for this thing i happened upon this serum set and i was like oh my goodness i remember what vitamin c did for me i've never tried retinol other than the home experimented vitamin a uh using matcha which was not real matcha from discount by the way just putting that out there uh i i, I, I attempted some kind of skin cream one of my mom's friends I gave it to her and she raved about it, but I can't I couldn't continue to buy Masha So I stopped using the product because really if I can't continue We're not gonna let ourselves get used to it or addicted to it. Okay, so 
So I had some little bit of experience with retinol in my face, a DIY at home. A very unconcentrated, small version, little amounts of vitamin A that are not made in a laboratory. And so therefore they're not the concentration or quantities that actually start to make a difference in your face. Similarly too with vitamin C, I had experimented with the DIY version and I saw miracles on my face. And then I stopped uh, within like just a week or two. And Hyaluronic Ironic Acid, there, were, there is a, a CeraVe moisturizer, yeah, 250 that I bought at this game that did wonders for me, but it made my eyes burn because of the castor oil and it was too expensive uh, so I stopped buying it because I don't have money to keep on buying such things right uh, so I know the combination of high, like I know what hyaluronic acid can do for my face I know what retinol can do for my face in small measure in the small little concentration that a home DIY solution can do using fruits and vegetables and I also know what vitamin C using a bit of fruit can do what then when something is done in a laboratory uh, to be stable to be maintained in its consistency for a certain amount of time what then you know so i was like Arabo, remember you, you you are poor you're broke so god knows these things and he understands that you can't afford to buy like a, a, a cerave or a, you know neutrogena or a whatever you know like high-end brand you can't afford to buy their serums you can't afford to buy their creams their powders because they're ridiculous the prices are ridiculous for somebody as poor as you god gets that but the lord also has a honchi you know like he knows the honchis that his disciples need to find in heaven god knows that it is not only neutrogena that produces uses the best serums for skincare or eucerin or you get my point he knows that there are people that are on the come up that are not recognized that do good if not even better products than the ones that are in the market very well marketed and so consumers are just gunning for them buying them at these exorbitant prices he knows that there are people who are yet to be seen that are producing these products if not better quality but for cheaper prices because don't nobody know them yet and he is in the business of literally making your paths straight in that regard the bible says Commit your ways to the Lord, lean not on your own understanding, and all of your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your what path is straight. He will give you direction. He is the lamp to your feet. So God knows you're a typical woman, girl, like typical in the worst way. You know, you're about that skin cream business, you all about that hair care business. You are a typical woman, always just looking at your body, your skin, uh, I can sell you like da da da. Being a persecuted disciple has not changed just what a typical woman you are. So just like all these other these other typical women in the world that are running to the shelves of um, you know, FMCGs to purchase all these products to keep themselves in a bunch with sticky tape all right to prevent themselves from aging prematurely and all these things or you know capitulating to gravity all these females all over the show and you have the same thing in common you are typical women and god knows that just as it is written in his word even the pagans need these things but your heavenly father loves you god knows that the pagans need these things god knows that you need these things but seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and everything else will be added to you so the lord knew that i needed just like every other 38 year old woman some kind of anti-aging like skincare routine he knew that just because i'm suffering i'm not gonna all of a sudden not care about the fact that goodness i'm at that age where everything gotta be put you know like we gotta keep it in a bunch like stockings keeping cellulite together you gotta put a stocking on your face to keep it from falling apart or something of that nature he knew that i am still a woman in the worst way in that regard whether or not i'm born again we will still be gunning for the same more or less in desires over the years and for me to not have access to all these wonderful things that women have to keep themselves looking like Beyonce at 40. How old is Beyonce now? If at all I don't have any of that, everybody that has wreaked havoc in my life is going to get away with murder. Do you understand? My friends, my former friends who did this to me, they can afford to purchase uh, some ridiculous like 700 rand, 25 milliliter tub of like retinal cream from the store at Dischem or some other place they can afford to spend a thousand five hundred rand on some little mist on their face something that I would have been able to do but I can't anymore so God was like I'm gonna show them flames baby I'm gonna give you that mist yeah one thousand five hundred rand for 120 bucks I'm gonna give you that cream yeah one yeah 250 bucks for 25 milliliter like ointment I'm going and give it to you for 50 bucks I am going to train you instruct you educate you make your paths straight and make it clear that these pagans that buy their creams they buy their food they buy their milk they buy their cheese they buy their bread they get everything that you can't get uh, they need it they consume it they chow it they are indeed the very pagans i described in the word i know that you need these things seek me and everything else will be added to you seek me and my righteousness
business and God has done exactly that. Look at what he has managed to do for me on literally attending towards zero budget despite me feeling like you've forsaken me with needs of pagans because all of us are women together and together as women we tend to need the same things. It's just that I'm godly and they're not. And God is like my point exactly. I'm going to show them flames and this is how he did it. Next part. 